Folks, one of the things that I see as a kind of rule of thumb is if you're going to wholesale, you're going to buy a fix and flip, you're going to you're going to you're going to find a deal, you always have to find a seller in distress. Death, divorce, job transfer, uh, estate sale, taxes, code enforcement, whatever it is. That all that works, but you know what? Some people sell for a deal because of speed time and ease. I have done deals with people that I would consider wealthy. I've done deals with people that are richer than I am, but it was because I was able to perform, listen to what they wanted. Uh, we were able to work out win-win deals. And I think Adrian just has such an example, man. How you doing? I'm doing great, Zuber. Yeah. You're getting good on your intros, bro. Ah! Just to let you know, <laughs> getting very good. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate it. I'm trying. You, 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 you do this six times a day. You, you should get better. <laughs> yes. Couldn't agree more. Well, you could tell. So I just wanted to compliment you there. I appreciate it. So tell me yeah. about uh, a recent example. You just locked up a house with somebody that I think both you and I would consider wealthy and um, he gave you a deal. So let's, let's, yeah. you know, let's talk about yeah. it. It was a big mindset. Uh, I've understood this, right? I knew this, but it, it was a big mindset unlock for me to help other wholesalers understand the fact as you started with, it's not all about distress. You know, we, we bought the owner of the jewelry exchange. So if you guys are in Southern California, the jewelry exchange is all over the place. They all commercials, radio ads. Uh, they have 14 locations nationwide. And this guy does not, this guy on the level of wealthy, right? Is it, he's, he's up there for sure. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and it was interesting because how we got the deal was through a text message. So the owner, the owner, right? We would never, most wholesalers would never think somebody that wealthy would wholesale a house. Right. He went to multiple real estate agents and multiple agents said, if I list it, we need to do all this crazy stuff. He goes, I don't want to do any of that. Just list it. And they wouldn't take the listing the way it was. Wow. He went to the family, said, hey, here's this house. You guys want to do it. You guys want to flip it. You want to take it on. None of the, none of the kids, no one wanted it. So he's getting text messages from other people, right? And he's responded to those, to those text messages, but no one ever responds back. He happens to respond to our text message thinking it was a spam. We get on the phone with them right away, get it under contract and close and literally close in seven days. He, mm -hmm. he then calls us and he goes, I, I mind boggled on how, how you guys were able to do this. He goes, but I'm so glad that it happened because it was a win-win. I was able to get in. I was able to get out. I was able to move that money to, he ended up moving it to, to another entity, but it was awesome the way it took place. And we went down, we did a review with him. We met him in his office and Zuber, this guy has it going on. Like this guy has it going on. And we asked him, we were like, why would you, why would you sell your home like this? And it was very simple. He says, Adrian, I don't got the time to deal with it. And the fact that you guys were able to do it so quickly, he goes, that made it that that made it all worth it. He goes, you can take it at whatever price you want to take it at. I know you're going to make a lot of money on it. And I'm okay with it because you helped me save a lot of money. Yeah, his, his mindset, his his it wasn't about the house. It was about getting out so he could use the capital somewhere else. But more importantly, he doesn't have to think about think about this guy, right? He, he tells agents he wants to list it here. Take six percent. Sell it. You got to do blah, blah, blah. No. List it. No, 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 no. Then he wants to do it with the family. Somebody flip this. No, he was ready to get out. And um, ready. Yeah, it, it, that's, it was. So cool. It was just such a big aha for me because we've we've most of our clients have been in distress. Most sure. of our clients needed to sell. This guy necessarily didn't need to. My, no. he, he had plenty of money in the bank. I'm sure he could have figured it out, right? But, but right, it right. just goes to show for all of us, guys, take your shot. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter where the house is. Take your shot, right? Like, you know, Pace Morby. Pace Morby ended up doing a sub two on a $3 million house. Yeah, right? I saw that. I saw that walkthrough. Dude, that's, I think the house is like 12,000 square feet or something crazy. It's insane. Crazy. It's insane. And he talks about that too. Like, don't just put yourself to a distressed box. Yeah. Span out, go to everybody. Right. I mean, you know, obviously find the right parameters and, you know, figure out the highest probability, but don't be afraid to take your shot on somebody who you think wouldn't fit that type of model. Cause that's just incorrect. Yeah. There's just lots of reasons to sell. And back to Pace Morby in this example, you never, uh, there's plenty of people that are like, they just get to the point where they're done. Right. I, again, I watched Pace's video. I think it was two years ago. Now I believe his seller was moving to Puerto Rico 
for whatever reason. And this house was the last thing he had to get rid of before he can move to Puerto Rico. Right. Well, sub two kind of makes sense, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just you got you got to take your shots. Don't be afraid. You never know. And oh, by the way, the other thing, respond. If somebody somebody responds to you, pick up the phone. What? Exactly. How many people probably <laughs> sent him a note and didn't respond? It was crazy. He said he had multiple text messages that he had responded to, and no one would respond back, or it would take them two, three, four weeks to get back to him. And by then, he's like, you know, pound sand. Yeah, of course. If you're not, yeah, I have a, I have a need and urgency and. Clearly, I'm not urgent to you, so this is not yeah. going to be something not going to work. Yeah. You know what was cool, Zuber? When I was there, you'll appreciate this. So he got to spend some time with us. We did a review, yeah. and he was coaching us up. He was legitimately like spending his time giving us what he does in his business. And all day long, he spends his time finding advertising sl slots at a super discounted price so he can go in, buy, buy an advertisement slot, and turn it into 20, 30 grand. That's literally what he does. He's in his business. Being a massive wealthy guy the way he is, he's still in his business every day, right? Do the he work. Says, Do the work. Exactly. And I thought about you when I was there. I thought about Ty. I thought about Joe D, who's always pushing in my head. Like, it's never going to end. Like, the whole hallucination that we unplug is, no, when you unplug, you die, right? You literally yeah. die. Yeah. So it was just cool to see. And he says, he goes, Adrian, I'm not in the jewelry business. He goes, I'm in the marketing and I am in the advertisement business. The attention business. Yeah. He goes, that's what I do. And then I have all my guys out there who they're the salespeople. They sell the jewelry. He goes, but every day I'm in here trying to turn a $15 slot into $20,000. And, and it was just like, yes, it's what everybody talks about, guys. It it does not stop. Fall in love with the work. Fall in love with the process. It's going to make all of this so much easier. And it was just, it was a huge, like, I, I literally thanked them at the end. I go, just thank you because you, it, it was full circle with ev what yeah. everybody talks about. You the left that, you left that meeting better than when you went in. Oh yeah, absolutely. Better yeah. than the, better than us buying the house. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to change. Yeah, exactly. The deal will come and go. What he just did for you in that hour or two is, is life-changing. So Adrian, if somebody want to buy or sell in Orange County or better yet, join your team, how would they reach out? Instagram guys at Adrian Hernandez. Don't forget to do the work. Let's go. There you go.